Hey guys, Mike here at Animes Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, this uh, request is long overdue. I received a question to model a wheelbarrow and that's what we're going to do. All right. Now, don't be thrown off by the color. Uh, it's just a reference image. So, uh, and as you can see, this uh, reference image is not a perfect side shot. So we're going to have to, uh, you know, kind of figure out some stuff as we uh, move along, but that's okay. So we're going to start in our perspective view here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a polygon cylinder, drag that out, pull that up. In our attribute editor, we are going to set caps to zero. And our subdivision, we're going to set that to eight. OK. All right, we're going to hit E. We're going to rotate it until we are at exactly 90 degrees. There we go. And then we're going to switch views and we're going to hit W, pull that down. F to zoom in, R to scale down. And we're pretty much going to start with this section here. Okay. So somewhere around there. All right. We're going to go back to our perspective view. We're going to right click, go to face, select that. Edit mesh and extrude. Hit W and pull that out to about there. Okay. And then the other end, select it. Edit mesh extrude. Pull that out as well. And we're going to start to manipula manipulate that. Difficult word. Okay. Hit W, we're going to bring that down a little bit. And we're going to right click, go to edge. Select that entire edge, hopefully. Let's try that with vertex. We're going to hit E and we're going to start to rotate that. Oops, go back one step. That's right. Yeah, that's good. Just check to be sure. Okay. Face, edit mesh, extrude, and pull that out a bit more. Okay. Something like that. And then rotate that a little. G to repeat, W to pull down. And rotate it again. G to repeat, W to pull down. Or we can go way down. I have to zoom in. E to rotate a little. G to repeat, W to pull down until we are about there. Okay. Let's just check and see what we got here. All right. Now, the thing is, this section is going straight. This is going inwards. Okay. So we're going to right click our vertex. We're going to select all this stuff. And we're going to kind of move that towards that area like so. Okay. And then we're going to go in here, right click face, edit mesh, extrude, W to pull out. Okay. And we're going to start to bring that down. E to rotate it. G to repeat, W to pull out. And again, E rotate it. G to repeat, W to pull down, E to rotate it a bit more, G to repeat, W to pull down to about there, F to zoom in, G to repeat, W to pull out, and E to rotate, G to repeat, W to pull out. And again, rotate G W E to rotate G W E to rotate 
JW. JW. Way to rotate. GW. Well, you get the point. And just work our way up. Okay. GW once again. To somewhere around there. Rotate it a little bit. GW. A to rotate. GW. And rotate some more. GW. That section is fairly straight. A to rotate a little bit. GW. Move it over here. GW, move it up here. Have to zoom in. E to rotate a little bit. GW, move it over there. And rotate. GW, pull that out. And hit E and rotate just slightly. Okay. So what have you got? Okay, so we've got this so far. Now we know that this is coming in and this handle needs to go out somewhat, okay? So we're gonna right click at a vertex, drag select to about there. And, oops, actually we'll take this section and we'll start to pull that out. And we will need to tweak this a lot for sure. Okay. So we got this guy, object mode. And we're going to go up to edit, duplicate special, option box. We want an instance. Okay. And we want a negative scale of one on X. Okay. And when we hit apply, we should now have the wrong thing. And the reason is that I'm not modeling it in X. So let's just uh, fix that. Duplicate special option box. So this is Z actually, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's try that again. That looks better. Yeah, that's much better. All right. Okay. Now that's where the wheels coming in. That's where the uh, the main uh, surface will be carried. Okay. So these two need to flare out a little bit. So I'm going to select them both. Mesh combine. Modify center pivot. Right click vertex, drag select these, and hit R and start to flare them out. And because I did that, I now will have to. Uh, let's see, am I going to do it that way now? Just going to go back. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, hit W, and pull that out to maintain that size, if you will. And once we have our um, main, um, I don't know what that thing's called, just the barrel itself, uh, we should have a better idea of where we need to be, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a polygon cube, give it some height, and we're gonna bring that in. And we're gonna start with what we know. And what we know is that it's gonna be sitting here Okay, just slightly forward. We're going to right click the vertex. We're going to drag select these two. And we're going to pull them back here. And on the top one, we're going to pull that back to about here. And we're going to pull it down a bit. 
Okay, something like this. And then this guy is going to go way up. And we're going to need to shape that and so forth, but that's fine. So that's what we got so far. Now, from our top view, we're going to make sure that this thing is fairly level. So it's equally divided between the two. All right. Then we're going to right click at a face. We're going to take the top face and get rid of that. So that's opened up. All right. Then we're going to add some um, subdivision, uh, not subdivision, meshes. So mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, option box, multiple, and let's do five. And we'll do that like so. Hit Q on your keyboard. And what we'll do is insert edge loop tool, option box, five. Well, that's a bit much. Let's do three in that direction and hit Q on our keyboard. Okay. And maybe even in the front there. And hit Q. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're going to select these. And actually, that's a bit much because I only need this front section. Okay. So we're going to hit W and we're going to start to pull that out. And I'm just going to take the one in the middle and start to pull that out just to create somewhat of a rounded shape there. And then I'm going to take these. And all right, and I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to just flare that out a little bit okay something like this and then we're going to go to mesh tools insert edge loop tool option box and we're going to do one and we're going to add one at the top here like so Q on our keyboard right click face and we're going to select that. We're going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude. We're going to give that some thickness, but not too much. 0 0.05. Let's see if that is enough. Not really. Control Z to go back. Uh, let's see, 0 0.1 will give us that. This may be a bit better, OK? We're going to right click, go to object mode, select it, and hit 3 on our keyboard, which already looks a bit better. Uh, but we do need to bring this guy in a bit. It looks a bit off. Okay. So we're going to hit 1 to go back. And what we're going to do is uh, let's see, right click edge. Actually, let's do vertex. Okay. And I'm going to take these vertices. And I'm going to hit W. And I'm going to just move that back in just a bit. Like so. Right click object mode. Hit 3 to smooth that out. It's not too bad. That could actually work. Okay. And I'm going to take the whole thing, Edit Mesh, Extrude, and we'll do a thickness of 0 0.1. And that's not enough. OK, Control Z, 0 0.25. 
I got some problem there, looks like. I'm not quite sure why. Edit mesh, extrude. Let's do minus 0 0.2. We got some face problems here. Let's see what the deal is with this guy. That's not too bad. We need to move it a little bit though. So just from this view, just pull it out just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to hit one to go back. Edit mesh extrude because I think that's where my problem's at. 0 0.15, let's do that. Oh, okay, I know what the problem is. Just going back a little bit, sorry. We're going back to the point where I extruded that top face there because it's an extrusion over an extrusion. Okay, right click object mode, edit mesh, extrude, 0 0.25, which looks much better. Select it, right click object mode, hit three to smooth out. Okay, and then we're gonna go in and right click, go to face, and we're gonna select that face row and go to edit mesh, extrude again. And let's do 0 0.2. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and now we don't have the uh, the normal issues that we have in there. Okay. Now for these guys, I'm just going to do a test smooth. So I'm going to hit three. Uh, that looks all right. We're going to fix that up here in a sec. Hit one to go back. Now we need to have these uh, flat pieces up there to hold the wheel, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click at a face. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I'll disregard that one for now. Right click face. And we're gonna go to, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, okay, edit mesh, extrude, and we're going to hit R, and we're going to push that in like so, and then G to repeat, and W to pull out. Okay, and let's see what fits our need best. Just going to check it from this view. I have to zoom in, and this is going to be about that long, and it's slightly at an angle, apparently. And then we're going to right-click the vertex, and we're going to select these, and bring that out. Whoops. see if that will work for us. Okay, and then we're going to flatten that a little bit. So we're going to right click at a face. Okay, right click object mode, hit three to smooth that out. And not bad, but we do need to go to uh, edit mesh, sorry, mesh tools, insert edge loop tool option box, 
and we're gonna add an edge loop right there and then we're gonna hit Q we're gonna double click on that edge hit W and we're gonna yep, make sure we move it in the right direction not quite Let's see if that's going to help us. Yeah, it's a bit better. Okay, so we got that. So we're going to go up to mesh separate. It's like that guy. Get rid of it. It's like this guy. Edit, duplicate special, option box. The settings are still okay. Apply. And there we go. So that's now copied over. And this one needs to come in a bit so we're going to check it from our top view hit four for wireframe mode okay probably going to come in a bit more see how that looks okay nothing sticking through here hopefully there we go okay now we can smooth these two guys so I'll hit three on our keyboard that's fine oh, all yeah, right and up here mesh combine hit one to go back Mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, and we'll do one there and one there. Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, and hit three. That's better. Okay, now we're going to create the grips for that. So, polygon cylinder, pull that up. Control A for our attribute editor. Let's do 30 subdivisions. We'll do zero caps. And in height, we'll do quite a few. Let's do 20. Okay. We're going to right click face, select the top face, and get rid of it. All right. And then what we're going to do is we are going to right click at a face. select those face rows and go to edit mesh extrude 0.1 let's see if that's enough yeah let's make that 0.2 okay right click object mode hit 3 to smooth it out that's not bad okay so we're gonna hit E we're gonna rotate it and let's see if we can fit that up here. I have to zoom in, R to scale down, four for wireframe mode. Hit E to rotate it a little. Five to go back. Let's see. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale it down a bit. From our top view, I have to zoom in. Okay. Control D to duplicate. I have to zoom in. Okay, they're both a bit large, so they need to be scaled in a bit. That's a bit too much. Okay, 
So I'll get rid of that. And what we'll do with this guy, just to clean it up a little bit, is we'll go in, right click edge, select that edge, edit mesh, extrude under edge, hit R, just to close that up. Object mode, hit W. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. So we've got that from a top view. Once again, Control D, move that over. I have to zoom in. That should be okay. And let's just check here. Yep. All right. So we've got that. Now for our wheel. Okay. Okay. So we got this thing going on here. All right. We're going to take a, a polygon cylinder. We're going to drag that out. Pull that up. Okay. Then we're going to add a, uh, a cap two in total. We're going to move in. We're going to right click, go to edge, double click on that edge and on the one at the bottom. So shift double click that one. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale. Oops. We're going to hit R. What's the deal there? Okay, we'll do it differently. Okay, I'm just going to pull that guy out to there. And then for my top view, double click on that one and scale it to the same position. All right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is right click at the face. One, two. Let's see how many do we got. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So 2, um, let's do 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're going to copy that on the other end. So. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. All right. Edit mesh. Extrude under face. Hit R. And push that in. Which will give us this. Okay. Fine. Then right click object mode. E to rotate to ninety degrees from a top view. We're going to hit W and we're going to move that up here. I have to zoom in, and the pivot point should be aligned with it where that bolt's going to be. But obviously the wheel is way too big. So we're going to bring that down. And let's see where we're at with our wheel. I have to zoom in. Now keep in mind that we don't have our tire yet. Okay, so make sure that this looks okay. So four. And that would be just about there. I have to zoom in. All right. So we're going to hit R. We're going to stretch that guy out. That's all right. And then we're going to take a little, first we're going to smooth this guy out. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty funky. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, we're going to need a, uh, an axle. So let's pull that out, hit E to rotate that to 90 degrees. Let's hit W and bring that in. And from our top view, let's 
let's scale that up quite a bit. Hit W, push that through. I have to zoom in. Position looks okay. We'll just push that back a little bit. Like so. And hit W and bring that down. So from this view, we should be right there. Okay. And now for our wheel, first we're going to hit 1 to go back on this guy because we need to go to Mesh Tools, Engine Digital Tool Option Box, Single Edge, and we'll just add a few to hold that shape there. on a keyboard, right click object mode, hit 3 to smooth out. That's better. Okay. So now our tire. Uh, we're going to take a uh, polygon torus. As you can see, it's a little big. And we are going to go into our attribute editor, control A. Uh, let's see. We are going to bring the section radius down to 2 for now. And we will have to tweak that, but that's fine. We're going to do 30 by 30. Let's hit E and rotate that to 90 degrees. And let's increase that section radius. It's a bit too thin. Maybe even more than that. These tires are usually pretty thick. Yeah, we'll uh, start with something like that. Okay. All right. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it down. We're going to hit W. We're going to bring it in. I have to zoom in. We'll check it from this view. And I'll do five now so we can see what's going on. Come on. Why isn't he? Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. We're going to start to bring that in. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that down. And I'm going to hit four so I can see where my center is at. Hit W to move it. And V to snap it. Go back to five. Okay, and let's see what this looks like. As you can see, it's too big and it's not centered. So we're going to bring that in. So now it's centered. Okay. And problem now is that I'm probably not able to alter the section radius, but we'll see. Oh, not too bad. So we still can. That's fine. We'll just uh, hit R. That looks more proportionate, I think. All right. So now that we got that, what's next? Okay, we want to have a little profile on our tires, not too much. Okay. So we're going to right click face and we're going to select that row and select that row, edit mesh, extrude under face, let's do 0 0.1, and that gives us some wheel definition, which is okay. And it looks like we are very close to being done. Right click object mode, hit R, pull it out just slightly. Okay, cool. All right, now let's texture this guy. We're going to take this and our axle, 
right there. Right click assign new material. MIA underscore X. Material tab, presets, settings, metal, and replace. Okay, and just make sure that this stuff is smoothed out. Not that one, just that one. All right. Then our tire here, hit three as well. Assign new material, the same MIA material, presets, rubber, replace. Okay. What we'll do is we'll take the wheel and the barrel, assign new material. We'll do a blend. Uh, we don't want it to be too shiny. So the color will do green, but then something fairly dark, like so. And reflectivity, we're going to bring that down to about 0 0.15. We don't want this to be too shiny. It's a wheelbarrow, right? Uh, maybe still too much. We'll see. Just uh, check that. 0 0.5 maybe that's better okay and then for the handles this is our uh, blend one object mode assign existing material blend one all right let's get rid of our reference drag select the whole thing control g to group Let's create a ground plane here. Stretch that out and stretch that out. Right click face, assign new material. Let's do a Fong E and make that white. Then we're going to move our wheelbarrow up. Window outliner and group one. There we go. Hit W and we're going to bring that up. And this actually worked out perfectly because normally you would see this tilted, right? So we're going to hold down the D key to move the pivot point to the axle of the front wheel. And now we're going to hit E and we're going to set that guy down on the ground like so. All right. Okay, we're going to set up a resolution gate. We're going to find a nice angle for our render. That's about right. Go to view, bookmark, edit bookmark. We'll call that new and apply. Let's quickly create some lights. Point light, hit W, pull that up. At seven, so we can see it. And we'll hit Control D to duplicate that. Pull one over here and pull that up. And decrease the intensity for that light. Let's do 0 0.5. And we'll go to our render settings. Mental ray. My image size, I'll do HD 1080. Quality about 1.5. Uh, let's see, indirect lighting. I'm going to use image based lighting and global illumination. Then I'm going to look for an HCRI file to use. And we'll do um, Sky 5. And that's just something that I found. You know, there are a lot of them free that you can download. Okay. We're going to go back to our bookmark all right and let's give this a go i'm going to pause the video see you guys in a sec all right guys there's uh, some tweaking we need to do uh, the green is still a bit reflective a bit too much reflective actually so we're going to go to our blend material and we're going to change that into a lambert material to fix that problem okay and just a small detail but 
I think it's uh, it's important. Um, depending on what you're going to use this for, I'm going to create a small sphere. Hit F to zoom in. I'll pull that up. And I'm just going to get rid of half of it. So right click face. Let's do that properly from this view. Like that. Hit delete object mode now the deal with this is to make it look a little bit more realistic we are going to and i'll hit four for wireframe mode so we can see it better we're going to make sure hit e to rotate that we have bolts okay so let's bring that down it's going to be tricky to get that just right, but let's see what we can do. I'm going to hit W. I'm going to bring that out. I have to zoom in. I'll check it from my top view. So that should be about there and scale it down just a bit. And once we have those correctly positioned so we've got one there control D to duplicate there's going to be one over there like so and we're going to select them both right click assign new material MIA material X, material tab, presets, chrome, replace. So now that looks a little bit better. View bookmark. Okay, you can see them, so that's fine. And um, let's see, um, as far as lighting is concerned, I'm not too thrilled with that. So let's get rid of that one. We're going to go to create lights, ambient light push that back here, raise that up a little, and bring intensity down to 0 0.1. View bookmark new, there we go. We're going to go back to our render settings. Apparently my image size didn't take. So HD 1080. And I'm going to change my indirect lighting. So I'm going to select a new file for that. All right. And let's see, what are we going to do here? We'll do a, a studio light. Let's do this one. Okay. And I'll give this another go. See you in a sec. Okay, guys. Well, there you go. There's our wheelbarrow. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, for the person that requested this, this is what you were looking for. And uh, that said, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you want to check out upcoming tutorials and want to chat and share your work with other subscribers, you can uh, check out my Facebook page. Uh, just uh, go to MH Tutorials. And uh, that said, thank you guys and see you guys next time. Bye.